The objective within this lesson is to multiply unit fractions by unit fractions. Jan has four pans of crispy rice treats. She sends one half of the pans to school with the children. How many pans of crispy rice treats does Jan send to school? What fraction of the pans does Jan send to school? Right, one half of them. And, and how many pans of crispy rice treats did Jan have at first? Right, four pans. So what is one half of four? One half of four equals two. So she sends two pans. Here's the multiplication sentence that shows that work. Imagine now that Jan, instead of four pans, has two pans. What do you do? You take one half of two, which is equal to one pan. Now imagine she has one pan. You take one half of one, which equals one half. What if she had one half? If she had a half of a pan, and she wants to send half of it to school, half of a half. So let's show what half of a half is. We start with half of a pan. And then we, so we have half of a pan. The whole pan is one, but we only have half of a pan. And then we're taking half of a half. So one half of a half is one fourth. Half of a half is one half times one half equals one-fourth. She sent one-fourth of a pan to school. Jan has one-third of a pan of crispy rice treats. She sends half of the treats to school. What fraction of a pan of crispy rice treats does Jan send to school? We're now imagining that Jan only has a third of a pan, and she still wants to send half of the treats to school. Will she be sending a greater amount or a smaller amount of treats than she sent in our last problem? Right, it's a smaller amount. She had half of a pan before, now she only has a third of a pan. So let's start with a third of a pan. There's a third of a pan of crispy rice treats. Now we need to find half of a third of a pan. Or that's one half times one third. So we need to draw one half. There we go. So one half times one third is equal to one six. Let's label it. This was one third. This was one half. And the whole thing was 1. So Jan sends 1 6 pan of crispy rice treats to school. It was 1 half of 1 third. Okay, it's your turn to try. Starting with 1 third of a pan of crispy rice treats. Can draw an area model. And then I take one fourth of one third. One fourth of one third. I get one twelfth. Same as one fourth times one third, which equals one twelfth. So she sends one twelfth of a pan of crispy rice treats to school. Did you write out a sentence?
sure to do that. So I should have labeled the area model. Oops, that's not one fourth. Should be one third. And there's one fourth. And the whole thing is one. A sales lot is filled with vehicles for sale. One third of the vehicles are pickup trucks. One third of the trucks are white. What fraction of all the vehicles are white pickup trucks? We're thinking of one third of one third. Drawing our model. There's one third. And there's also thirds. And where they intersect, we get one ninth. One third of one third is the same as one third times one third, which equals one ninth. One ninth of the vehicles. Are white pickup trucks. So we're multiplying unit fractions. They're unit fractions because they have a 1 in the numerator.